we got an inch or two of snow and husband is out there shoveling but he's in a sweatshirt so it must not be too cold good morning day 18 Cherry Christmas Spice. Ooh, I'm having that on toast. That would be great. A squirrel that won't run away. <laughs> I wondered what that was yesterday. It didn't look much like a squirrel to me. Two stars. Were you outside playing in the snow? So you weren't here to get your treat? Yeah, you were outside playing in the snow, weren't you? Dropping Cody at daycare for the day so he doesn't have to spend the day at home. Uh-oh, running out of yarn. I'm not gonna make it home. All out. Yeah, thought so. When your husband can't stand a dirty car and you're in the car knitting another hat, well, he hoses off all the road dirt. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> well, we're back home. It is just before five o'clock. We drove about two hours south and east of our home to where my husband's brother and his wife live and where May is in the healthcare center. Um, and we had a nice lunch and I videoed little snippets all along the way. So it's kind of choppy because <laughs> I did a lot of them, but you'll kind of see a little bit of, you know, we have two big rivers here, Mississippi River and the St. Croix River. And so there's still open water and in Lake Pepin where the river goes wide, there's a deep uh, lake 
in Lake City where all the houses look out over the bluffs and the, it's really very pretty. In a moving car, not so much, and it was like 19 degrees today, so I didn't get out and take any film for all of you, but we got Cody picked up and he is now sleeping in front of the fireplace and he is exhausted. Ross, of course, had to wash the car on the way home. And now he went to wash the little truck that my dad is going to get. Um, so tomorrow morning early, Ross is driving to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, which is a, just under four hours, to take the little new little white truck to my dad. And then he's driving my parents back in their van, car. Um, and then they're going to stay for a couple of days. And so I'm staying here because he's going to leave at the crack of dawn. And I'm going to record a podcast of a new pattern to show all of you. It has already been out for a little bit, but I'm going to finally share it. And so you can go and see it. I've got three samples to show you tomorrow. And then um, I've got some other stuff to share. And I will wait for them to get here. And then my parents will be here for about three days uh, before then they drive back home for Christmas in South Dakota. My, both my brothers live there with their families. So they have grandchildren there as well. Um, and the, and then they have great grand children. So my brother's son has two little girls and they're, so they're hoping to be together with all those people. So we are trying to decide what to do for supper. We went out for lunch in this little tiny restaurant in Lake City. And the food was fine, but we don't really want to go out again. I suggested we just have pizza. He said, nah, he wants to take something out of the freezer. So we'll see who wins the, <laughs> the battle. Um, I think we'll just snuggle in tonight and not do too much else. So um, I gave May candy and some new pants. We ordered a robe that hasn't arrived yet and some tops that have not arrived yet, some sleeveless mock turtlenecks that I talked about the other day, but I also picked up date-filled cookies on our way from the bakery at the grocery store this morning. I love date cookies. May loves date cookies. My mom likes date cookies, and no one else does. So we picked up those on the way down, and then I came home with a dozen of those, so I'm going to try to keep from having those for supper, just specifically just eating cookies for supper. <laughs> but... Um, Anyway, so it was a good day. Uh, it was a lot of time on the road and we had that little bit of snow, so traffic was kind of backed up on our way out. We spent, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes on the big interstate in that goes across the southern part of the city. It had rerouted us a little bit to try to miss some of that, but we still ended up sitting in traffic. So it took us a little longer to get down. I did run out of yarn on my blanket. Um, on the way down, I had it on that cone and the next cone, and the next cone is so big, it's as big as my head, that I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't carrying it around waiting. So now I just wound off a big um, hunk of this to put in my little traveling bag. But I had this hat in the car, and my husband never asks me what I'm knitting. Very rarely does he ever ask me. And this is for him, and he said, well, what's that? And I was like, you never ask. Of course, so I was going to make him one of those cabled hats. Um, I had so much of this yarn left over. Um, it's El Rey Chunky, and it's really it feels really nice. And this is that one with the six-inch brim that you roll up. So I said, it's a hat. It's something for my husband, and then he shut up, so that was kind of funny. But I did get quite a bit added onto the blanket here, so let me show you. Just I'll just hold it up. You see where the brownie Sunday was? So I got, you know, 10 rows done um, before I ran out of yarn. So it was probably 45 minutes before we were home and I just started working on the hat, which is fine. I always have a backup. There's always a project in the back seat of the car for emergencies just like that. <laughs> so I got that done. I think I will edit this all together and see how long it is. And then I might just say, say see you tomorrow, okay? couple of questions about my little jewelry tree here that sits next to my table on the top of my cart and I showed it before but it is a stitch marker holder for me it's just got little hooks on it for rings and 
ornaments or whatever you wanted to put on it. Um, I'll show you. I have all this stuff hanging around the top. Everything that people gave me. <laughs> so I've got little, got this girl who is just precious. And uh, turn over again. Got this sheep. Sheep on the floor. Then at the very top of this is this. This is 24 grand, and it's a bodice at the top of it. And honestly, I don't remember I got where I got it, but I think I got it at Target in the home deck area. And I just hang, you know, tons of stitch markers on it. It sits on my cart, and I've only ever knocked it over twice. <laughs> Not what you want to do, but there you go. And these are my very favorite stitch markers. I, thought I sent in a picture of Cody to an Etsy seller. And yeah, so I love those. Well, of course, I love these too. They're beautiful. I do have a lot of orange. But anyway, that's it. So, these are the date cookies. This is what they look like. I thought I would open one for you. So here. Yeah. Dates um, with sugar. And then this is just really soft. It's like a soft sugar cookie. Yeah, so there we go. I have a dozen, a dozen of those. <laughs> That came home with me so my parents better arrive soon to help my husband's boss makes this every year it's toffee and most of the nuts have fallen off because we've been snacking on it but it's absolutely delicious and i wish i had a recipe because it's not too hard it's it's fairly soft and you can break it pretty easily. So it's, it's not super sticky on your teeth. Yeah, it's just lovely. So we have too many treats. And another couple of cards today. And someone had supper and is all tuckered out. Down for the count. It's not even six o'clock.